Um, Thomas Schreiber, first rehearsal for uh, for Germany for Jamie Lee today. Are you guys happy with uh, how it went? Um, we're happy for a first rehearsal. Um, we know what we want. We know what has to be changed. We know what was missing. Um, but we are on a good track, and I think it was a very good impression and a very good first rehearsal. You've had a very um, chaotic build-up to the selection process in in Germany this year. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that, and also how it uh, still maybe uh, does it still influence the delegation as it is now? No, it doesn't influence uh, what what has happened because it was last year. We had a very straightforward uh, pre-selection process. We had a very good. Um, interest in the viewers. We had uh, we had nearly two million calls. It was a very straightforward result for Jamie Lee, and that's what we're concentrating on. And she was she was backed by the audience, so we're happy with that. Um, do you are have you con uh, also considered what you are looking forward to do in uh, upcoming years? And uh, do you want to stick to the national final format as such, or uh, uh, an internal selection? No, the internal selection was uh, a one-off because uh, we had a very good singer um, and the audience was to choose uh, the song. Um, we will stay with uh, the pre-selection process like we had, but maybe there is a second option. So different, w there are different ways to find the artist and the song and what is the right way we are discussing at the moment. Um, maybe it's too early to say. We will we will announce what we're doing after after Stockholm, um, but there will be a show in spring, and there will be a couple of artists and a couple so, of songs. So um, uh, you said it was a one-off because you had a great singer and it was an experienced artist as well. How do you guys look in Germany towards uh, what your ideal Eurovision act should be? A more experienced singer or something young and new like Lena, for example? It's difficult to say because I think uh, Lena was an example that a young but very charismatic uh, girl could fill the stage. Um, and uh, it, it, it depends a little bit on whom you get interested uh, to participate in Eurovision. Um, in the end, it's a composer's uh, competition and uh, the strength of the song, I think, is, is very important and the character and the personality of the artist. Um, but it's not like, uh, it's not, I think the wrong way is to say this is what we need um, and to do it on, you know, on a white paper. Um, you have to see what, what artists you get, what, uh, what songs you get. So what, if that's the wrong way, what is the right way? You can't, you can't say I'm looking for a second Lena because Lena is unique. Um, and what we are looking for are personalities and, and songs that are strong enough.